Hey family, welcome back to my channel. It's Patricia and happy St. Patty's Day to me. So I am all down down in my green. Ain't nobody gonna be pinching your girl today. So I have my big old box of Scentsy. This is my Scentsy Club order. So I wanted to let you guys see that. And I also just wanted to quickly go over the Easter collection. I have worn through all three of the bars. This is just going to be super short and sweet. They all performed well. Um, blueberry Burst was a big no for me. I just, I wanted something like Blueberry Rush and like the Aladdin bar. Now the Aladdin bar, I will be getting that soon because I placed the order and got a bunch of Disney scents. Whatever this note is in this one, and I want to say it's like a blackberry note, it's just not working for your girl. So I think that's what's throwing it off for me. And I just can't. So this was this was the one I was most forward, really looking forward to. And it was just a big hard no for me. And of course, I don't have my website pulled up yet. So I'm trying to pull that up. Um, and here it is. Um, because I got to see what that note was. It was like a blackberry note, I want to say. Uh, let's see. It is, yep, a oh, black raspberry. Blueberry, black raspberry, and caramelized sugar. Black raspberry, hard no. Um, this one, Raspberry Lollipop, which was the one that I was going in not being my favorite. It's still not my favorite. I'm just not that big of a raspberry person, but this is nice. If you like raspberry or you like fruity, like fruit punch type of scents, this is awesome. And the yellow, yellow drizzle, Lord, I'm looking and... Lemon drizzle cake is everything that we thought it was. It smells just like the Starbucks um, lemon pound cake. It's really good. Is it club worthy? For you, it might be. Um, for me, I'm like, oh, I'm not sure. Um, it's a good one, though. I'm just not, if I have a choice between foodie and like masculine scents, I'm going to go masculine all day, every day. That's just the way your girl's brain works. So now let's move on to this big old box of wax. So I do have my one pack of cotton cleanups. You guys know I used to hoard these before the price change. Now I just have one. I miss these so, so, so much. You don't realize how easy it is to use these to clean your warmers, especially if you're somebody that has multiple warmers like all over the house like I do. One of these would clean three warmers like easily. So I am missing them. I wish the price would go back down, but I just, you know, I was getting like five of these, I wanna say, at least four of these. And I think I was getting four just right out regular price and then using this as my half price. And I just can't. So this was my half price item. And now I forgot there's like a whole nother box in here that I got to undo for you guys. Okay, so by now most of you guys know it's in my club. I throw a few things in here or there to keep it interesting and spicy. Um, I will be editing my club um, before I get my next order my club comes every three months i'm just i've been getting some of the same scents like forever and i'm just kind of over it i'm ready to, ready to smell something different and you guys know how it is you gotta move some things around to keep from going nose blind to some stuff so anyway my dear watson this is a very masculine um aftershave cologne type of bar I love it. You guys know I'm always here for masculine scents. Um, Simply Rose, this was in the recent Bring Back My Bar. Um, every time it comes back, I'll get it. And then I have it for a while. And then I'm like, eh, this smells just like a fresh rose. Like you are sticking your face into a bouquet of roses. 
that is what this smells like. Really, really good. Outstanding performer. Um, I added Cozy Carnigan. I'm not sure how long I am going to keep this one in the club because I was looking like it'll, you know, it'll be back. It's just really pretty, perfumey, body care type of bar. Really, really pretty. Um, I'll see after I warm it. You know how you haven't um, warmed something something in a while? You almost forget how it performs and throws. So I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and throw this in. So we'll see if it makes, if it stays through the cut. Vanilla Oud. Once again, um, vanilla, masculine, kind of cologne scent. You guys know I love a cologne scent. Almond Croissant. Now, this is the one I decided to add to my club after my heartbreak with the Haunted Mansion bar. I figured this was like the kind of closest thing I could get to the Haunted Mansion bar to use like as a mixer with some foody scents to give it that kind of bread, bready, um, like a pie type of note, you know, mixing this with some great fruity scent. So added that to the club. So that's new. Okay, so this was the one from the last Bring Back My Bar that I decided once it came, I could not live without it. Hendrix. I had been waiting for this one for a while and Mm, it's just once again, can we say it together? Cologne, manly, masculine. Your girl is mm, always here for it. And it matches because it's St. Patty's Day. Sorry, y'all. Y'all gonna get all the green today because it's your girl's day. Do I have plans today? Nope. Just gonna work and that's about it, but... It's my day and I just, I'll celebrate it here at home, just chilling and relaxing. So once again, Hendrix, love it. Let me know if you guys um, have tried this one before. Something cracked. I don't know what that was, but something fell through my finger. That was odd. Okay. Southern Evening. Um, this is a very spicy um, spicy, perfumey cologne, I've said before, it kind of smells like a jazz, almost like a jazz club situation where you've got perfume, liquor, smoke, like, but good smoke, like cherry cigars and things like that, or apple brandy, all those things kind of mixed together is what Southern Evening smells like to me. Next up is Plum and White Woods. This is one that I'm kind of on the fence if I'm going to keep it. Beautiful scent, but I don't know. I've had it for so long now, so I'm not sure. Okay, Blue Sage and Tonka. Um, this was in the last catalog, and it's nice. Um, not sure if I'm going to keep it or not, but it's nice. It's just something... It's, once again, woody, masculine. Y'all already know. So, we'll see if it's going to stay or no. Um, next is Vanilla Suede. Once again, masculine, vanilla. Your girl has to have it. Um, one of these I took down to two. Okay, so I had two vanilla ouds. I moved this one down to one. Now, I did go ahead and do that uh, once the order process, because I'm like, I got enough. Mm. Outstanding. Next, we're just going to start tossing them aside, because I don't have as much room over here as I usually do. Next is sheer leather. Perfumey leather scent. Absolutely love it. Smells like a great men's cologne. Sweet plum pastry. Love it, love it, love it. We all know what it smells like by now. I don't even need to go on. If you don't know what it smells like, comment below and I'll tell you what it smells like. Heaven is what's coming to mind. Um, Lavender and white balsam. This is another one I'm kind of on the fence over. Beautiful scent. I'm I'm just kind of 
I've had it for a while and I think it might be time to move on. Blueberry Rush. This was the one I was talking about. It smells like sweet blueberries. It's strong. It is everything. Um, before this came back, we had the Aladdin bar with that blueberry scent. And I was hanging on to that until I was able to get my hands on this. Like I said, I have a Disney six pack coming. So I will be sharing that with you. And when I saw Aladdin, I was like, yep, got to get it. Next, what is falling? I keep feeling like little things like falling, but I don't see anything that is ripped on the, the sleeve. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, anyway, I'm sorry, y'all. Squirrel moments. World Traveler. This was another one your girl had to get her hands on, and you already know. Manly. Mm. But it's like manly and fresh at the same time. I don't remember the notes of this, but it almost smells like the great outdoors with aftershave lotion. I guess we're just gonna picture a man. We're gonna picture like Idris Elba shirtless in the forest. Yeah, that's what it smells like. Next is Pink Haze. Once again, outstanding. It's just this creamy, um, fruity bar. So, so good. Um, next is Cutie Pie Cupcake. Okay, so I tried to do a thing and mix Cutie Pie Cupcake with Clementine Cupcake, which I thought was in here. Where is it? I thought it was in here. Oh God, do I not have? Maybe I added it late. I know Clementine Cupcake had better be in my sense club. Jeez Louise, Clementine Cupcake isn't in my sense club yet because it's still available. Hello, your girl is going bananas. Anyway, I will be adding it probably to my club before the season ends, but as I was saying, I tried to do a little mashup between um, Clementine Cupcake and Cutie Pie Cupcake adding equal, I want to say it was equal parts the first time, <clears throat> Cutie Pie Cupcake like annihilated Clementine Cupcake. It will, just was not even funny. Then the next time, <clears throat> I want to say I did it. In the room that has the four warmers, I think I did, because I did half and half and it annihilated it. And I think I did, I don't remember what room it was now. I don't remember if it was a room with three warmers or four. I know you're like, what difference does it make? It makes a huge difference when you're trying to do a balancing act of getting sense to blend equally with each other instead of canceling each other out. But what I have discovered is I'm going to have to do more of Clementine Cupcake. This is Cutie Pie. More of Clementine Cupcake in order to make it blend better with Cutie Pie Cupcake. Because Cutie Pie is such a major beast that it just like annihilates anything within its path. And um, I might have to do this. I think I'm going to try it again in the main area where we sit at. It has three warmers. And I think I'm going to do all Clementine cupcake and like do one cube and one warmer of this one, Cutie Pie cupcake, and see if I can get more of an orangey cupcake situation going on because this right here is a monster. Next up is Shimmer. It came back. I had to have it. I've already enjoyed it in laundry. Now I can enjoy it in wax again. Next is Scarlet Sunflower. This is such a pretty kind of perfumey. 
um, floral scent. Just really, really pretty. Can't wait to start warming this when it like gets warm and just stays warm. Like right now we're going from like 80 to 40 to 30 to 60. It's just crazy. Toasted Marshmallow. Speaking of beast like performers, this one will blow you out of the house as well. It is super strong. This is one that one cube in a warmer will do you. It is everything. Next is Around the Campfire. This is just a pretty perfumey, um, Perfumey smoky bar. It, it gives you that campfire smoke, but with a perfumey note. And it's just really, really pretty. I've heard of people mixing with this and not quite. Somebody had told me to mix this with something. I don't even remember what it was. If you were the person that said, have you tried around the campfire with such and such? Please comment below or anybody, you know, if you've ever mixed this with anything. Um, comment below. I'm thinking mixing this with um, sugar would probably be everything. And also mixing it with um, shimmer might be a, a whole look too. I'm going to try that. Speaking of sugar, we have sugar, which is lemon drops and oh, what is it? I always forget the notes. It's like lemon drops and cotton candy or something. You can't smell the lemon. It's just a super girly scent. We all know it smells like Aqualina Pink Sugar Perfume. Maui Mist had this one um, when it came back and bring back my bar years ago. Might have been a couple years ago. It came back. I had, had to get it again. It's just Oh, this beautiful, creamy, or oh, powdery floral scent. You guys know I love a powdery fragrance if you watch any of my fragrance videos. Mmm, this is so good. This makes me wonder, why did you ever take this out of your club? It is outstanding. Next is Happy Birthday. This is another one I love to mix with different things. This is another Beast Mode Performer. Um, I love mixing this with a fruity scent to give you just this fruity cake fragrance. It's so good. It's so strong. It's so many people talk about this for a reason. It is just that good. It is everything. Okay, speaking of birthday cake, I decided to pick up birthday wishes. Um, this was from the Moments Collection. This was the one that kind of stood out the most to me. It does smell similar to Happy Birthday, but it gives you a little more of a straight cake fragrance. Like a sweet cake fragrance where Happy Birthday is more of kind of that marble cake. Some people say it smells like chocolate cake. This is more of your straight up um, cake with like white frosting on it. It's a little bit sweeter. So I'm excited to uh, mix this with some things as well. Um, and part of me wants to like just branch out and go on the wild side and mix birthday wishes and happy birthday and see what we get. You know I'm going to do it. Have y'all done it? If so, comment below. Next, Cashmere in Corduroy. This was another one from the last catalog. Just had to hold on to it for a little bit longer. Mmm, it's so good. It reminds me of Cozy Cardigan, but like a deeper version of the smell. Mmm, like a deeper, richer, more luxurious version. Gives me rich auntie vibes. Last one, it is, and this is so appropriate that I say this one for last, Banana Rama. You guys know how I went on a whole entire tear over this fragrance, talking about how it just burned your girl's nostrils, you know, to the core, you know, people outside the cul-de-sac were smelling it. I had company. I was like worried that they were going to be like coughing and like, what is that? It smells wonderful on cold, but 
This thing right here is a total beast. I get the um the pudding, the jello pudding vibes. Like when you make the banana pudding, that's what this smells like to me. It is so, so strong. So I am looking forward to this is definitely it's definitely gonna be a mix. This is not a we're gonna melt this all by itself. Cause for me it was just too much. I am looking forward to warming this with happy birthday. Um Maybe the birthday wishes. Um, I think almond croissant in this would probably be amazing. Um, what else? Almond croissant. Um, what else? What else? What else? Happy birthday, birthday wishes, almond croissant. I don't know why I keep saying croissant. Um, just anything that's going to give you more of a kind of pie dessert feel, I think would be awesome with this. Because for me, this has to be broken down, you know, with something else, mixed with something else. Because I can't be losing any more nose hairs. So let me know what you have mixed um, Banana Rama with. Um, give me some recipes of what you mixed with because I'm curious. I, I love the smell of this, but I cannot do it by itself. I just cannot. So that is it. My box is now empty. So thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions on anything you've seen. As always, please remember this month you can join Sensi 2 for $25. I said $25. Did you forget? It's $25. I just wanted to make sure y'all remember how much it was. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.